Hey guys, today Treyarch has dropped a bit of a bombshell, a random COD blog post featuring all their new changes from when we last saw Zombies of Black Ops 6 to how it's going to be at launch. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it and quickly break it all down. So firstly, ever since they showed off Liberty Falls, people kind of were like, man, this really just looks like a multiplayer map. Well, now they've tuned it a little bit and it seems to be a little more moodier, you might say. It seems like dark and dreary and kind of a gray, kind of boring, flat color over the map, I feel. And then these random purple clouds as well with like lightning coming out of them which is a little weird i honestly don't know how i feel about it all quite yet i think i uh, honestly i actually prefer the way it used to be in one of the images it shows the special dog round and there's a green tint over the map and then you can see in the background some of the cars are actually on fire but honestly besides making the map look like town from black ops 2 or town reimagined i should say from black ops 3 custom zombies i'm not sure how else you might please the kind of zombies fans for the mood of the map but i don't think they really want to make it nighttime and all that because the other map already is but uh yeah i really don't know what to think of that let me know what you guys think of how they change the liberty falls in the comments down below but moving on to their hud update people pointed out they didn't like the hud me included my main complaint is that it looks too much like multiplayer so here's what it used to look like and of course there's kind of hud presets so you'll be able to edit things to some degree at least and this is what it looks like now and you can see it's pretty much the same. They've simply just turned off some settings to hide the minimap and hide the health bars just to show that they can be disabled. And then they've added character portraits in the bottom left. And they've also actually pushed the perks a little bit closer together so they're not spread apart. Now the main complaint of this is it still pretty much looks like a multiplayer HUD. What I think it is is personally I think the Black Ops 6 HUD just in general sucks. I mean, the bottom right, all the weapon info, the grenades, and your special down there, so much information all packed together should be spread out a little bit, in my opinion. And having kind of the circular field upgrade there on the right is just kind of out of place, just in my opinion. Also, going to the bottom left, there's way too much stuff just smushed together there. You have a health bar with the HP count above that and the armor plates next to that, and then to the right of that is how many armor plates you have stored, your self revives next to that, the button to use the armor plates, your points being real tiny down there, and then your salvage being displayed next to that. I guess that is one improvement over Cold War. I believe in Cold War you had to open your scoreboard to view your salvage, but now this time they're using only one salvage system, so there's no more blue and green rarities, just one rarity type of salvage. So that's why they're able to get away with just displaying that. But getting points and spending your points is very important. It's kind of fundamental in zombies, and now the points are just real tiny down there and I think that's kind of a problem in my opinion it's very small and not really all that noticeable but those are my thoughts but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about this HUD change and with that they've given us a new look at Terminus even though we've pretty much seen a decent amount of gameplay with 17 minutes but they basically put out images of all the sections of the map so that is cool to see but for the most part we are pretty much aware and have seen all of these locations already they have also shown us our first look at augments so you can see here they say that there's 108 augments available to unlock and equip at launch so that means there's probably going to be more down the line that means there's 48 for perca colas 30 for ammo mods and 30 for field upgrades but you can see here an example for upgrading the energy mine is just sort of like a perk tree you might say so it's just a little bit more in depth than the way they had you upgrading your abilities in cold war zombies and i just want to point out seeing the perks and beakers like this actually looks pretty cool it reminds me of like a potion They've also gone on to explain all the augments for all the perks, but since there's actually so many of those, I will just break that down in another video to kind of separate the topics. They also showed us what the loadout creation looks like for zombies. So you can see here, you choose what weapon you spawn in with, you choose a melee weapon to spawn in with, you choose your field upgrade, your lethal, your tactical, and your gobble gum pack. And they also showed us all the kind of support items, basically like killstreaks. So you'd be able to purchase with salvage, of course, armor plates, the ARC XD, the LDBR, which is a missile bombardment, like an artillery strike, and also the Hellstorm missile. And there is also the Sentry Turret, the Mangler Cannon, a Chopper Gunner, of course, love to see that back, 
the mutant injection, which we've seen, which will temporarily transform you into a mangler. And lastly, the self revive. They also dropped us a picture of all the gobble gums, and they also showed off that you unlock them at certain level requirements. And of course, you will be able to purchase the gumballs. Pretty much all of these should be pretty familiar to you if you've played Black Ops 3 Zombies, so I don't feel like I should need to break them all down. Another really cool thing they've mentioned is in your loadout, you can actually go to Wonder Weapons, and you can't equip and start off with a Wonder Weapon, but you can change the skin that will be used on the Wonder Weapon for when you actually acquire it in a map. So that is pretty cool, you can now customize the Wonder Weapons. But yeah, guys, that was our quick look over of the new blog post from Treyarch on zombies in Black Ops 6. So let me know your guys' thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Personally, it seems like, yeah, this is just more Cold War zombies, continued and expanded upon, of course. So we'll have to see how this all ends up feeling and playing, especially when we get more unlocks and get to test everything out for ourselves. And once again, you can view all the details for yourself linked in the description down below. But until next time, peace out, guys.